Truthfully, I actually do enjoy buying toys for my kids. The one thing that I don't really like is cleaning after those toys, but somebody's got to do it. So in this video, we're going to be doing a deep clean of my kids' toys. We are deep cleaning my living room, um, their play area, my curtains, my blinds. It was all dirty and needed a really nice clean. And that is what we're going to be taking care of today. Stay tuned for that video. I feel like I need to point this out just in case somebody notices this on the floor it's not glass it is some sort of something I forget what it was but it broke and it was on the floor when I first saw it I thought it was glass but it's not it's just something yeah something hard whatever that was on the floor so yeah I notice it a lot in that area so just in case you notice and I'm just mentioning this because there's always somebody who's like oh what is that is that glass yeah <laughs> if you're wondering that's what it is <laughs> It's so easy to get overwhelmed when my space gets to this stage. Toys everywhere, other projects waiting to be done, work that needs to be done, and kids to take care of. So where do I even start? Um, I always find that it's best to do the biggest project, <laughs> first of all, and then to kind of break that project down into small pieces. In this instance, I had to deep clean and organize my living room, which was a big project for me and whenever I have a pre big project like that I get stagnant I stop doing I don't even work on it because I'm just overthinking just how much work needs to be done but I when I break it down into different thing different tasks it becomes more manageable so because I had to deep clean my living room 
and my kids play area i had to break it down into different sections the first being that i needed to organize my kids play area i had all of the toys all over the place so i needed to start picking those toys up um so that though that that part is done when my brain sees that i have completed that task or that i'm making progress it kind of it's a trick like it kind of feels like oh I'm, I'm i'm making progress i'm almost done i don't really have much to do here i just need to you know do a few more things and i'm done and that makes it easy to continue doing that task and to actually finish it so as you've already seen i picked up all of the toys from the floor nothing is completely organized i just place them into separate containers so that I can actually start uh, washing all of the toys. Now I am going to start cleaning them. Now, when it comes to cleaning the toys, I, since I have a variety of different things, like I have um, different um, car, I have little cars, I have um, sensory toys, I have wooden toys, I have uh, trains, I have animals plush toys um just a variety of different toys that need to be cleaned which means that they all need different ways they all have to be cleaned in different ways so i'm starting off by cleaning items that can be cleaned in water plastic items or um you know kitchen items stainless steel so that's what i did there um in my tub i'm going to be cleaning their big items their big cars and whatnot and for cleaning this i'm just using baking soda and dish soap i'm gonna let them soak and then i'll start kind of scrubbing them to get any grime and um stuff off of them other toys that i had as i mentioned i have magnet towels as well for the magnet towels i ended up putting them into the dishwasher um it's not the best option because you don't want water to get inside the magnet towels however since i had a lot of them i i just wanted to make sure they were all being cleaned at the same time so i just placed them in the dishwasher and i allowed them enough drying time for the water to completely get out of the the pieces i didn't really show that here for the wooden toys i just um i um wrapped them with some vinegar and a, a, a washcloth and that um is what i used to clean those uh, those toys but just giving you an idea of how i clean that but this is usually my process and i'll go over the rest of it as i'm cleaning the other areas
evil eyes and eat love waking up suffering not gonna take me i'll go down swinging Okay guys, so this is everything that I'm going to be using to clean my windows and blinds. I have a little bucket full of water. This is just dish soap in here. And a little squeegee. Um, I think I might, I'm probably going to be using this mostly for the um, baseboards. But this is the... I forget the name. <laughs> I'll link everything down below, okay? I got some microfiber cloths. This is for the blinds, just makes it easier to wipe them. This little brush is gonna be handy for uh, cleaning those little tight spots. Same with this one as well. And then I got Zep um, Forming Wall Cleaner, which is what I'm gonna be using for my blinds. And then the glass cleaner. So let's get started on cleaning. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you're doing fine cause you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see in your eyes, your head is full of dreams, tears are
so after I finished cleaning my toys, I had to move on to the windows, which was the next part. So with the windows, I had to break that down into even smaller tasks. I knew the first thing that I needed to do was to first remove the the curtains. So I did that and I placed those in the dish in the washing machine so that they can be cleaning while I'm cleaning the windows. Once those are in the washing machine, then I start cleaning the actual blinds. And so I'm just going through and I'm going to clean all, everything that needs to be cleaned here um, and making sure that that's completely done. And then after that, I'm actually going to clean the actual window and the window panes. When I break the tasks into these smaller tasks, it makes it easy for me to know. It makes it easy for my brain to know that, okay, I just have to give myself a certain period of time to finish each task individually. It also helps me to know when I can take a break. So I can take a break after I finish cleaning the blinds or after I finish cleaning, you know, after I finish doing a certain task. That really helps me um in this situation in in my current position because then i know that i then i'm not too overwhelmed because i know okay i can always take a break whenever i need to take a break or or after i finish a certain, a certain task it's also really helpful when you can time yourself like you can say okay i'm going to clean the blinds for 30 minutes and then i'm going to you know have a snack or you know do something else that needs to be done because uh, you know, as moms, we always have a lot of different things that we need to do in between, you know, the main projects that we're working on. So this is not the only thing that I have to do today. I also have to cook for the kids. I have to pick them up from school. I have to do so many other tasks. So when I can kind of give myself those leeways, it kind of helps me with not feeling too overwhelmed. Now, when it comes to cleaning my blinds, I actually started cleaning them using the little, um, the little, uh, uh, blue thing that, you know, you can put in between, but it didn't really work very well. So I switched to just using a microfiber cloth and I just kind of, um, placed the, the blinds on the window uh, and then I just wiped them. That kind of helped me wipe a lot of them, uh, at the same time instead of just doing one at a time because there was a lot um, of dust and grime on the blinds that just needed to be taken off. So I just completed that by, by you know, using the microfiber cloth instead of using the other item. The Zep cleaner is actually really good for cleaning the um, the blinds as well. Um, it's You can use it for cleaning walls and um, wall coverings. So it's perfect for cleaning blinds. So if you've never tried it, then you definitely want to try it. And as I said, I will link it down below for you. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's not in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Do love, like everything that has a cherry on top. 
Okay, so once I finished cleaning my windows, um, the curtains were ready to go, so I put them back up. The sheer curtains are from IKEA, and they're actually they were actually smaller than I thought they would be. They didn't really fit the whole window, but because of how the window is designed, I was able to to make it work. Um, but yeah, those ones are from IKEA. My actual curtains are from Wayfair. Everything will be linked down below for you if you're interested in those but um i was really happy to finally finish this part because it was the biggest part for me um was cleaning the blinds cleaning the the windows that one i knew was going to take a lot of time uh, because of how dirty the windows were but that is finally done now we're moving on to another day and a different part of the living area this time i am going to start by cleaning the couch and i'm just going to move the couch and um I'll, i have to clean around the couch and then i also have to clean the carpet so as you can see guys when you break this things down it kind of makes it easy uh for your mind to be able to kind of know what what needs to be done and when it, it needs to be done and how much can be done in one day and whatnot so yeah it, that really helped me when it came to organizing and cleaning this space honestly never know how dirty your house is until you've pulled back the couch or pushed forward the couch and find all the lovely goodies waiting for you like clothes that you were looking for <laughs> um and um and other fun stuff that get uh, stuck in there from time to time <laughs> Getting this Ruggable Rugs is definitely one of my f best purchases ever, okay? I absolutely love this rugs. Do you see how bad it looks right now? <laughs> I'm just going to put this in the washer and it's going to wash it up really, really good. They are really easy to clean. Um, they are stain resistant, which means that it's, you know, it, it the stains don't stay long on them. So I love, love those rugs. Um, they're really good. And I have one in my living room and one in my kitchen those are two of the areas that get really dirty pretty quickly and easily so having a rug that you can clean up easily makes things so much easier so if you haven't yet you definitely need to grab one of them rugs okay they are really really good <laughs> Now, before I start cleaning my floors, I am going to clean my fan, which is really bad. Um, I actually had to clean this a few times because the um, the stuff, whatever the stuff is called, was stuck on there so good. I needed to scrub it up. But yeah, I figured before I start cleaning my floors, I'll take care of this part first. When, you, when you're cleaning, you definitely want to go top to bottom. Um, that way you can avoid having to go back and go over things after you've cleaned them. So that's what I'm doing uh, that's my usually my strategy when I clean is I have to get the top areas cleaned up first and then I can get the bottom areas cleaned so that's what we're gonna be tackling here Yes. 
sound I'ma keep on running I'm never gonna come back down Cause I can never stop Tell me how they gonna get to us Yeah, we can climb the rocks See the bottom to a cloud of dust Honestly, I am not the best at following instructions. Um, I don't usually read instructions on um, on uh, on cleaning bottles before I clean them, before I use them sometimes. And that's the case with this one. So this go, it's it go off. Um, it's supposed to kind of help take out any stickers, anything and like dried paint. Um, and you actually have to put it on a cloth and then place that cloth on top of the area but i just sprayed it directly on the floor uh thankfully it did not damage the floor the floor is fine and it was able to remove the stickers that were on the floors um so it did do a good job but i am really the worst when it comes to reading <laughs> instructions like i just i just jump right in and i start working on it and then and then read the instructions later <laughs> It's like, why is this off? Why is this wrong? Oh, maybe because you didn't read the instructions. Duh. Um, but best boards are done. Now I am going to be cleaning my floors. Uh, you guys know the drill. I love cleaning with this mop. And I also, I usually use um, pine saw. It smells so good. Um, so when I'm cleaning my floors, I usually go over it twice. So you'll see me making the same motion twice. It's because I like to go over my floors twice to make sure that the dust is completely off the floors. And then after I finish mopping, I like to apply a sealant and a loop. Uh, I was going to say lubricant <laughs> uh, polish for the floors. And the poly, the one that I use, um, I'm... I'm going to link down below as well, but I have been using it for a while and I love it. It makes my floors shine and it also maintains the cleanliness in those areas so nicely. So I really love it. You're taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night, looking at you, making your move. It's so easy and fun to clean and organize when you have a place for things, a place for everything in your house. And that's why I was like so excited about getting this, uh, 
you know, this little organizer for the play area. Since I live in an apartment, I don't really have a lot of storage or um, organization areas. So I just have to maximize what I have and add additional units to kind of help me keep the place organized. This one is from Ikea um, and I wanted to just have some sort of a cabinet in this area where I could store away toys that we're not using and and that way I can also make sure that we don't have too many toys out at the same time. That just helps keep the place cleaner because you're not you know, th there are not too many toys out. And then also it helps your kids because they are not overwhelmed by the selection of toys. Um, and it's so so I just thought that would be like a really good thing to have. Um, this one is perfect because it just fits that area perfectly. Um, if you don't know, well, you do know because you've already watched the video, <laughs> but I have my kids play area in my living room. So... I just really have to maximize the space so that I can be able to to make it functional for them and also um, an area where they can play and do whatever they want to do. I ended up getting rid of the, the kitchen because the kids, just, they destroyed that thing, okay? Um, they really played rough with it. Um, so I just figured it was time to get rid of that for now. And um, just, uh, we might get it another time. We, you might not, I'm not really sure at this point. Um, but... Yeah, we got rid of that. And now this is how the area is looking. I also added the other organization item there from Ikea um, just to organize more of their toys, especially their bulky toys that I usually never know where to put. So yeah, I was really excited about that because <clears throat> I knew that once I get everything, like once I get some organization systems in place, it would make it so much easier to keep the place organized and to to clean it as well. I'ma lose it out of control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking so sweet, but you're dynamite. I just wanna dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. Baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay the night. Time goes fast.
my camera ended up dying on me, which was a sign that I needed to go to sleep. <laughs> so I did. Um, but now I just have to finish up by organizing the toys. Um, I cleaned everything up, allowed them to dry, and now it's time to put them back. The biggest thing when you have a lot of toys like this is just finding a better way to like organize because the thing with it is, is that I actually want my kids to be able to play with all of the toys so I have a tendency to I had a tendency in the past to just keep everything out because for me it's out of sight out of mind you know like if you can't see the toys then you can't play with them um, but I definitely want to start doing toy rotations with them and that's why I'm so happy about having that extra cabinet space so that I can store toys that we're not using and I can be able to rotate them. I do actually plan on organizing that area a little more. Um, in this instance, you'll see here that I just placed items inside just to hold them for now. But in the future, I do um, want to place actual like organized uh, bins and whatnot. And for this little area right here, I do want to add some uh, labels to them. I saw some really nice wooden ones um, on Etsy that have like different the names for the different um toy and whatever it is that you have stored in there so i definitely want to grab that from etsy and use it to organize this space but for now it works really nice the kids are able to see you know what toys are in there and they can grab it without me being there but i was really happy to finally have this kind of system going because um this area can get messy pretty fast with the kids playing here. Um, they all take things out and, you know, they don't want to put them back. And so we're working on, you know, every night when they're done playing, putting their toys back. Uh, but now that it's much more organized, it's a lot easier to do that. And I can see that they are enjoying that as well. So I was really happy that I made this change. If you've stuck this far, thank you for sticking with me through the mess, the grime, the disorganization. Um, now everything is neat and organized and the kids are loving this space. Um, as I said before, it's so easy for it to get, you know, messy really fast because the kids just take everything out. And I didn't have a nice organization system in that area, which just made it hard for us to keep it organized and contained but now I do it looks a lot better I am really happy with the space the kids um, find it easier to put their stuff back uh, because everything is like where it's supposed to be there's still some more that needs to be done but I'm really happy with how everything turned out but thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it make sure you leave me a like and a comment down below and let me know what you uh, thought about the video um, I will be posting more content so stay tuned and I'll be seeing you on another one pretty soon thank you so much for watching and have a great day mm -hmm.